hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna show you how I got ready for my wedding anniversary as well as a small vlog at the end of the video so if you want to know how I achieved this um, soft glam anniversary makeup look on myself and the vlog then please do continue watching So I've already cleansed my face using the Dermavive Hydra Cleanser which you all know I absolutely love. It's a very mild sort of a cleanser. It doesn't really rip off any moisture away from the skin. I really really like it. Then I'm going to take my Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion and apply that all over the neck and this also provides a lot of hydration to the skin without making it look oily or anything and the makeup also sits so well on top of this moisturizer. Now to fill in my brows, I'm taking the Lakme Micro Brow Perfector in the shade um, Charcoal and filling my eyebrows in. This is a very very thin eyebrow pencil, I really like it and it just mimics hair like strokes on your eyebrows so I'm really liking this eyebrow pencil from Lakme. Then I'm going to take my Pack Take Cover Concealer in the shade Twisted Toffee which is uh, pretty much a close color on my complexion so I'm just applying that as a base for my eyelids as well as to clean up under the bottom area of my eyebrows like I usually do then blending it out using the elf camo concealer sponge which is extremely ultra soft and blends products so beautifully I love it then I got this Huda Beauty Naughty Nude eyeshadow palette recently and I wanted to use it on my anniversary day so first I'm going to pick up this warm muted matte brown shade as a transition on the crease and yeah I'm just applying that on the crease and blending it out nicely these eyeshadows are very very buttery and smooth I absolutely loved them they are well pigmented just like any other Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes Then I'm going to take this more of a cranberry-ish color and I'm going to deepen up the crease further as well as the outer V of my eyes. I love the tones in this palette. It's very very chocolatey and darker nude suits, more of dusky and deeper Indian complexions. The other nude palette is way more lighter and it has never really attracted me. This I absolutely love. Then I'm going to pick up this beautiful rose gold shimmer eyeshadow on my ring finger and just pop it on the empty space of the eyelid and here you can see how well pigmented and foiled and metallic this eyeshadow looks on my eyelids i just fell in love with this eyeshadow to prime my face i'm using this sample um, primer from Too Faced this is their hangover rx primer i got this as a freebie along with their foundation which I bought so yeah I'm just gonna apply that on the main areas of my face and blend it out this is a very very hydrating and smoothening sort of a primer I really liked it under the Too Faced foundation if you have drier skin types you would absolutely love it um, even though I have an oily skin type I really really enjoyed using this primer I'm going to color correct a bit so I'm taking the pack take cover concealer in the shade rusty orange to cover um, sorry to color correct any of the hyperpigmentation such as the darkness around the mouth the acne spots as well as the dark circles I'm going to blend it out using the same elf camo concealer um, sponge which is damp and the lighting is different here because I have uh, not really used any artificial lights. I totally forgot to carry my lights and everything So yeah, this is just the hotel lighting. So that is why it looks different here For foundation, I'm using one of my current favorite foundations. This is the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation 
and i'm just gonna apply that all over the face and neck this is such a pretty foundation it settles down and dries down to a completely matte finish this also has a bit of a smoothing and blurring effect to it which i absolutely love it's a bit on the warmer side which i actually prefer on myself it blends very easily as well on the skin I'm going to take the same uh, pack twisted toffee concealer to conceal my under eyes and again going to blend it using the elf camo concealer sponge. To bake and set my face, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread, one of my most favorite loose powders. Uh, I'm going to pick that up on the same sponge and bake underneath my eyes as well as around the mouth area. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Shambo Smooth On Liquid Eyeliner in a black shade. This is a very, very long lasting, well pigmented black eyeliner. So I'm just going to create a wing on myself. I'm going to use the same plummy cranberry shade that I used earlier to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. Then I'm going to remove the bake underneath my eyes and also I'm going to take the same loose powder to set the rest of the face as well because I'm very very oily. So yeah, I don't want to compromise on setting my face with a loose powder. For mascara, I'm using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara and apply generous layer of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes because I did not want um, any falsies uh, on myself on this day because we were going to have dinner by the beach. So I didn't want anything uncomfortable. So I just applied the mascara alone. To bronze up my face and to add a bit of definition, I'm using the Hula Caramel Bronzer. I'm using the brush that comes along with the bronzer itself. So I'm just applying that to the hollows of the cheeks, the perimeter of my forehead, my jawline, the sides of the nose as well. This is such a beautiful bronzer color, especially for duskier complexions. If you have a similar complexion like me, you would absolutely love this bronzer. It's not too warm, not too cold. It's very, very beautiful uh, bronzer. For blusher, I'm using my most favorite blush. This is the Colorbar Sweet Scarlet Blusher from their Cheek Illusion Blush range and applying that to the apples of the cheeks and sort of in a sculpting way. I totally forgot to pack a highlighter so I took this um, sort of a pale gold um, shimmer eyeshadow on a fan brush and this was coming off very very sparkly on my skin so I kept it super super light handed. I did not want to skip highlighter as well so I applied as little as possible on the skin and all of the other shades as well looked very very sparkly so yeah that's what happened sort of a mishap. I'm also highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. Now moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Swiss Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate, which is like a deep, um, cool toned brown shade. And I'm gonna overdraw my lips like I usually do. For lipstick, I used this sample sized lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade called Walk of Shame. This is such a beautiful, corally, brick toned color. And I absolutely loved pairing this lip color with the eye makeup that I created. 
and it's a very very comfortable sort of a formula i really like it to set everything in place and to add a bit of dewiness to the skin i'm using the flower beauty seal the deal setting spray in the dewy variant and here is the finished final look this is what i wore for my anniversary dinner date with my husband and i got ready in a bathroom this is the best lighting that i could find in the entire room so yeah this is the makeup that i wore for my anniversary dinner i really hope that you guys um enjoyed watching this video and if you want to watch the vlog as well please do continue watching till the end
Baby